Hi, my name is Mark Nam. I'm married to Kai and we have three young children and we currently live in Bristol. Um, I first heard about the LWPT when I started studying at Trinity College in Bristol. Prior to that, I was a pastor in Hong Kong for 10 years and during that time, uh, I had no formal theological training. I originally studied law. So that's why we moved back to the UK in 2016, uh, where I became a self-supporting student at Trinity. And it was just one day when I was passing the common room notice board that I saw an advert offering study grants from the LWPT. Um, and so I applied, and here we are. Uh, in terms of ministry, the grant I received helped me buy books that weren't readily available in my college library. Um, since studying, I felt God directing me to, um, yeah, to reach out to second and third generation migrants, particularly British-born Chinese. Um, but there isn't much literature um, on that, or if it is, it's very expensive. So thanks to the LWPT, I was able to buy some of these books, which have informed my studies in missiology. And really, they've prepared me to engage with these various generations of ethnic minorities and particularly the Chinese, Japanese, Koreans and East Asians who find themselves in the UK. Uh, my dissertation's title for my MA was What can the Church in the West learn from East Asian theology in terms of contextualising the Gospel? It's hard to pinpoint what the future might hold for me and my family. But um, midway through my studies, uh, I was approached by the Church of England to consider ordination, um, which after much prayer um, and deliberation I accepted. And last month I became one of the first British-born Chinese clergy in the Anglican Communion, which is quite exciting. Um, I've just started my curacy at two churches in East Bristol, which lasts for three years, but after that, you know, who knows? All I know, and as I've said, I believe God has called me to serve him full-time, and not just with what I do, you know, with all the studies um, under my belt, but also with who I am. And that means having to embrace, you know, everything from the colour of my skin um, to both my British and Chinese heritage. Uh, the church in general has not been very good at embracing difference and diversity um, throughout history, at least in the West. Uh, and indeed, growing up, I felt like I had to repress my cultural identity just to fit in. But in my studies, I've since learned that this is not the case. And uh, perhaps my future ministry will have something to say to that. And again, this is a ministry that the LWPT has helped me, you know, explore and discover through my studies. So thank you. Grants are so important, not just in meeting the practical needs, but also in, f in affirming people's calling. When I applied for my grant, you know, I had to articulate and share, you know, my passion uh, to reach second and third generation migrants. So having the application come back successful and knowing that, you know, a body of trustees really thought and prayed about this is incredibly encouraging and affirming, you know, of my call. In the future, I hope the LWPT, you know, will support and encourage other British Chinese to pursue their calling to preach and share the gospel. You know, as I said, monetary grants are helpful, but I think the building of relationships and providing platforms you know, for ethnic minorities to be part of the church and, and to be able to speak into contemporary issues is also an outworking of the kingdom of God. You know, and, and as we bring the marginalised in and, and hear their perspectives, you know, the whole body, the whole church is, is richer uh, for it. Um, I would definitely recommend the LWPT to other students and friends. Uh, the Preach magazine is also a great resource for those of us studying and wanting to grow in our ability to lead worship and to communicate and preach the gospel well. Since Covid began, racism against the Chinese community in the UK has increased by around 300%. And last month in the House of Commons, um, the first debate was held on Covid related racism against people of East Asian uh, heritage. And so Preach magazine has been a really helpful resource uh, in knowing how to kind of engage with some of these complicated issues. Issue number 13 was really helpful, preaching across cultures, and that offered some valuable insights, as did a recent issue, number 22, you know, which looked at voices of justice. And I really believe that 
you know, in the current discussions, particularly around Black Lives Matter, you know, the East Asian voice has yet to really be heard. And yet I really believe that, that the perspectives and theology coming out of East Asia can really add something beneficial to these crucial conversations in the life of the church and in society as a whole. Um, in closing, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has given to the LWPT so that people like myself can receive grants to enable us to study um, you know, better and to enable us to, to preach, to develop our preaching uh, ministry more effectively. So thank you so much. Thank you.